The Optus CEO has faced a grilling at a Senate inquiry over last week's nationwide network outage. The inquiry heard hundreds of triple zero calls weren't able to be made during the blackout. Political reporter Monty Beauville has more from Parliament House in Canberra. We know that this outage affected more than 10 million Australians and 400,000 businesses. They were unable to make phone calls and access mobile internet for 14 hours last week. And as a result of that outage, a Senate inquiry was launched. And this morning, the CEO of Optus, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin, has been uh, questioned extensively over Optus, Optus's handling of that outage. She used it as an opportunity to uh, defend the company's response but also apologise to customers and uh, recommit to a promise to do better in the future. Now, we know that as part of this outage, that Optus landlines and some mobile phones could not dial triple zero during the blackout. And uh, the Optus CEO revealed that in the end, 228 triple zero calls were unable to be made during the outage. Now, of course, under Australian law, telcos are required to provide Australians with the ability to contact emergency services. Under questioning from Green Senator Sarah Hansen Young, the Optus CEO was asked whether or not that whether or not Optus would take responsibility in regards to these emergency calls. Here's what she had to say. We really want this issue to be thoroughly investigated because multiple parties have to work together to make sure that when there's an outage, the triple zero calls still go through. Sounds like you I... want to share the blame around. What I... We absolutely <laughs> take accountability for the outage. What I'm trying to explain is that the triple zero system itself should have helped our customers during our outage. And we will take accountability for any role we've had in that, but there are also probably changes that need to be made in other parts of that system. Now, Gemma, Ms Bayer Rosmarin said that uh, sh the company had contacted all 228 people who had made those phone calls in the wake of that outage uh, to make sure that they were OK. And she said that as a result of those welfare checks, they found out that each of them were OK. And Monty, did the CEO mention compensation for affected customers? Yes, she did, Gemma. So we know that it, customers were offered 200 gigabytes of data as compensation in the wake of this outage. Uh, we also know that affected customers and businesses could approach uh, Optus if they had special circumstances around any losses of money uh, during the outage. Uh, the CEO said that so far 8,500 customers and small, small businesses had reached out to Optus seeking compensation. Now, she says that they are discussing around $430,000 in compensation and $36,000 of that has already been applied or paid out, as she said. Now, she was asked if that was paid out in cash or in in-kind services, uh, whether that be like the additional data that has already been provided, the CEO said that she would have to take that on notice. There are a couple of other questions that she said that she would take on notice. She has a few weeks now uh, to respond to those questions. And the inquiry doesn't have any other public hearings planned at this stage, uh, but uh, the committee is expected to be delivering their report on this inquiry uh, by December 9. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye on that as it comes out. Political reporter Monty Beauville in Canberra.